In this video, I will explain why you should study abroad and how to do it. This video is sponsored by AUG Student Services. Assalamu alaikum, yo, yo, what's happening guys? My name is Sif and welcome back to a new video. As some of you know, your boy will be studying in Canada starting August this year. Now, studying abroad has always been a dream of mine, but when the opportunity finally arised and I had to make the final decision, I did a lot of research, a lot of thinking, and concluded that studying abroad is what's best for me and probably for you too. In this video, I will explain all my reasons. Number one, to get out of your comfort zone. Time and time again, look, time and time again, we've been told that getting out of our comfort zone is vital for personal growth. And what other way to do that than by starting a new life completely? Think about it. Nobody knows who you are and you don't know anybody as well. You won't recognize any of the places, the roads, and even the house that you live in will feel foreign. Absolutely nothing is familiar, literally a blank slate. But when you force yourself to go out and get used to the unfamiliar, that is when you grow. Steve Harvey says it perfectly. You got to blow your bubble up, expand yourself, take yourself out your comfort zone. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. Number two, you get to learn to be independent. I'm not saying that we can't learn to be independent in our home countries, but when you're stranded in a foreign area and you gotta survive by yourself, that's a whole other level of independence. When you're living by yourself, you need to manage all your expenses, for example, your accommodation, your meals, groceries, bills, transport, and so much more. And whilst being overseas, you will encounter a variety of problems that I can't even imagine now. All this, it will not only increase your problem solving skills, but also your self-reliance. It's really important. To gain experiences that'll broaden your perspective. When you're abroad, you get to meet new people and experience a completely unique culture. People tend to do things differently from what we're used to. For example, tipping in Malaysia is very, very optional. But in the Western side, if you don't tip, you're considered a cheapskate. Obviously, we all have very different takes on this and I would love to hear yours. What are your thoughts on tipping? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, if you're open to change, experiencing a new lifestyle will definitely broaden your perspective and make you realize how much you don't know. This in return will open your mind to new ideas that you would have never thought of before. The small bubble that you lived in all your life pop. Number four, stand out in your resume. When you study abroad, as expected, you will get an overseas degree, which for some reason is valued more than local ones. Employers love international experience. I'm assuming it's because of all the extra skills that you attain, uh, like everything that I've mentioned previously. All these skills will also increase your adaptability, which is crucial in the current ever-changing economy. If you're planning on landing a high-paying job, studying abroad may just increase your chances by that much more. Next up, you get to meet so many new people. We've kind of already talked about this, about how meeting new people will open your mind and make it exposed to new ideas. But outside of that, this also means that you'll get new friends, new contacts, new connections, and who knows, maybe you'll even find your soulmate there. Personally, I love creating bonds, especially the deep ones. Like I can get along with any type of people, but there's just a certain type that I instantly click with and tie an emotional bond. It's pretty rare, but perhaps studying abroad will help me find more of that. So overall, you get to make lifelong friends around the world that you wouldn't be able to otherwise, and I think that's quite a good reason. Before we continue, a word from our sponsor, AUG. AUG is a one-stop student service center which offers free educational services to students and parents. Some of their services include scholarship advice, one-on-one -on -one education counseling, accommodation and travel management, and so much more. If you're planning to study abroad, I'm sure you're wondering, how do I do that? Fortunately for us, right now, AUG are conducting free education fairs on the following dates. You will see representatives from more than 50 universities based on six countries. It's free face-to-face -face consultation, so you can literally ask them anything and they'll give you relevant advice based on their professional experience. Via this fair, you can explore your options to study abroad, such as credit transfer, 
twinning and transnational program. Not only that, if you apply under AUG, their counselors will guide you towards attractive scholarships that are available for overseas and Malaysian universities. This is free knowledge and the benefits are super worth it. You just need to ask the right questions and you will get the best answers. If you're interested, you can sign up for the fairs now using my link in the description. Thank you AUG for sponsoring this video. Have you ever felt like your life is just boring? You get up and it's the same mundane day every single day. That's where the next reason comes in. For the thrill, studying abroad, it's so exciting. You just don't know what to expect. The mystery, the anxiety of changing everything. Just thinking about it makes my adrenaline go wild. Recently, I have felt like my life is getting bland and I want to get away from my current everyday life and just go somewhere where every day is a new adventure. I'm sure most of you can relate to what I'm saying. Uh, we all feel this way from time to time and studying abroad may just be an amazing way to do that. I guess we'll find out. Number seven, memories. I'm a sucker for memories. Wherever I go and whatever I do, I take loads of photos and videos. It's one of the main reasons as to why I documented my journey to SPM, because I want to remember the struggle that I went through to get to where I am today. I truly believe that studying abroad comes with a whole batch of fresh memories that otherwise just wouldn't be there. And after coming back from Canada, I imagine having hundreds of stories to tell people. Or maybe I can vlog them and tell the stories when I'm at Canada itself. Let me know if that's something that you're into. Looking back, I realized that I cherish all my memories. Good or bad, it doesn't matter. I am grateful that it happened. If you're someone like me who craves the nostalgic feeling, I really believe that studying abroad is going to help us in that area. Okay, thank you for sticking until the end of the video. I really appreciate you and for you, just for you, I have a special bonus reason. Number eight, to become a better version of yourself. A few years ago, I decided that one of my life goals is to become the best version of myself. That meant that I was willing to step out of my comfort zone and do anything to improve myself. Alhamdulillah, I did and I reaped the rewards. However, I feel like I've been slacking recently. I can blame the pandemic, the people around me or just life in general, but it doesn't matter. All I know is that I want to reinvent myself again. I want to find who I really am and who I'm supposed to be in this tiny world. We all go through an identity and existential crisis from time to time and I feel like studying abroad could maybe help to find ourselves. All in all, I'm not satisfied with who I am currently and I want to be a better version of myself. Hence why I'm going to Canada. And that's it. Those are my reasons as to why I chose to study abroad. Hopefully this video gave you some insight on the benefits of getting an overseas education. If you have any more reasons that you would like to share, please do so in the comments. I will be reading all of them. However, <laughs> studying abroad comes with many, many downsides. Let me know if you would like to watch a video about my eight reasons why you shouldn't study abroad and why local might actually be the best option for you. All right, that is all from me. If this video was in any way beneficial to you, please leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to sign up for AUG's education fairs using my link below. Good luck. And as always, aim for the best, never settle for less, and let God handle the rest. Peace.